Welcome everybody, welcome back to Homestead Heart. And I am out in the garden still. I have already planted the Yukon Gold Potatoes. I did that video already. If you wanna see how I did it, I will put that at the end of this video so you can watch it. But you all, as promised, I talked to you all about one of the best and easiest ways that you could find to grow potatoes in containers. The different containers that you can use to grow your potatoes in, it will work the easiest way, the best way, the best container. Well, I won't say the best way, but I'll say the free way <laughs> is to use, voila, cardboard boxes. What? Miss H, you gonna grow some potatoes in some cardboard box? Yes. <laughs> now you all, what I have done here in our garden, this is what we call our smaller garden here, okay? And this was one of our rows right here. And what, we're sta what I'm standing on was actually just um, uh, area that we had cleared to put ground cover on so that the weeds would not go into the garden. And so we had ground cover all over this right here, but it wasn't a garden bed. What we're doing now is we're about to make an instant garden bed. How are we gonna do that? I'm lining this bed, this row here with nothing but cardboard. On top, I have my cardboard boxes. These again are the large boxes from Home Depot. All I have done with these boxes, I've taken these boxes, you all, no tape, okay? I just put the flaps down, that's it on these boxes. And all I'm gonna do, how did you get a hole in you? Ugh. All I'm gonna do, you all, let me push you over some. Take each one of these boxes, and kind of button them up together. What's gonna happen is, you all, after I plant in these boxes for my instant raised bed, is what I'm calling it, after these have been planted in, of course the boxes are gonna start to break down, they're gonna get rained on, they're gonna get watered, the potatoes, all of that. And over time, these boxes are gonna break down. And when they do, I'm, the plan here is to just go ahead and break out the sides and let the remaining soil remain in place. This is gonna be an instant raised bed garden. And all I may have to do is add a little more compost or something to the top layer of this, right? But I'm using these boxes with the potatoes in them as a start. These cats have been hunting. They've been tossing around a bowl. They tossed them around for about an hour before one of them just came and snatched it and ran but they literally was just flicking it back and forth, one between the other. Your turn, your turn, right? <laughs> they were having a, they having fun with these bowls out here. So, but anyway, you all, all I'm doing is putting in about six inches, five and a half to six inches of mix in these boxes. Now, what does that mix consist of? What I did, I took one two cubic foot bag of the Kellogg's raised bed potting mix and a one cubic foot bag of black cow, cow manure, a composted cow manure. And I mixed them in my wheelbarrow and I put about six inches. Now, so far, just those two bags has already given me my six inches in each one of these boxes. And I still have enough to give me another six inches in my third box here, right? Which you're gonna see me do. Now, what I have already done in this box, let me bring y'all a little closer so y'all can see, come close, don't be afraid. <laughs> okay, oh, I guess I better tilt you down just a tad bit so you can see what I'm talking about. There we go, 
all right y'all so now this box is ready to plant in right here but this one i'm gonna take some feather meal this is nitrogen i'm putting in some feather meal and i'm also adding in some bone meal jackson don't do that i don't know why they like that feather meal but they just love it now i'm going to take my shovel here but i said no i said no get out of there no sir take my shovel and just kind of mix this around that's all just mixing it around i could use my hands if i want to but i don't have my gloves on so i'm just going to use this shovel and i'm just mix i just mixed it around just a tad bit all right okay just smooth that out okay let me show you all my red potatoes These are my red potatoes here that I got from Aldi, whoa, a while back, okay? And as you can see, they are way past ready to plant. <laughs> now, will they still grow, Mrs. H, if they have those long, spindly looking little eyes or ch Yes, they will still grow, honey. Ain't nothing wrong with these, trust and believe. I've planted many like this, some with, I've had some be this long. <laughs> <laughs> and I've still planted them and they still worked out just fine. Now, of course, you don't want them to get like this, but it's okay if they are. These came from the uh, Aldi market, right? These came from the These came from the Aldi market right here. And Rainy's in trouble. And you all, I just kind of had them in a bag. And in that bag, they just kind of got put to the side, right? And these are the potatoes that I'm going to be planting in these boxes, or in my raised boxes. <laughs> and what do I have here? Okay, so what I'm going to do, you all, let me set these to the side. I'm going to go ahead and fill this other box. I'm keeping them close together. And I'm just taking my little mixture here. And I'm going to shovel it into this box. This is going to be great to be able to get so many containers from just those two bags. Look at there. I think I'm gonna have more than six inches here. Let me see. Nah, I'm gonna need a little more. That's not, that's not gonna be it. So I think I'm gonna need probably another bucket or so full of this mix but this was very close let me see let's see if i can get it all right let's see oh this will work how far down I am. That's just about four inches. I'm going to go ahead and add the rest of this worm casting to that. And these worm castings may very well be spent, but I'm going to put them in here anyway. It can't hurt. All right, you all. Now what I'm going to do is add in my phosphorus. 
This is bone meal. I am putting a heavy dose of that in there. And then my feather meal. Okay. I'm gonna take my shovel. Just kind of mix that around. All right. Okay, you all, so after I just kind of mixed it around, now I'm gonna take my potatoes and get them in the container. For this size container, I'm only putting three potatoes in there, okay? Just three. I got a small, a medium, and a large. <laughs> So I'm gonna put these three in the container. I hope y'all can see. Really want y'all to see. Okay, let's see. Let me get this in. Put one on that end. One, the big one in the middle. And then the other one on this end. I'm just nestling them in. Let me show you. Let me show y'all. I want y'all to see. Nestling them in. Grab me three more. Okay, all I'm doing, you all, you see this box is rectangular. So I'm just taking this, I'm gonna nestle it down in there. Okay, just like so. Oh, well, that'll work. Put that one there, and this one on the end, just nestle it in. Now, you all, these potatoes, once they start growing, they're gonna start growing out to the side and up. They're not gonna go down, okay? So that's why I'm not really concerned about um, only having five or six inches of soil on the bottom. It's just for support, basically. So the roots will have somewhere to go, right? But the potatoes themselves are not gonna form um, underneath the seed potato, or at least it shouldn't. And I'm just gonna cover these up. Just gonna cover them up. All right, I'm gonna cover this one up too. And I'm not done. Let's see, I got three more potatoes here. Get these planted. Now, I am going to have to mix a little bit more of the mix here to cover these potatoes. Let me see. Uh, maybe not. Maybe not. Okay. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, let me show you. I'm going to leave this here. This is my old hay. This hay came out of my goat pen, so it is full of manure, all right? <laughs> and urine and all of that, right? All of that stuff is gonna be great for these potatoes. But I'm gonna sit this right here. I'm gonna mix some more mix to add another couple of inches to the top of this, all right? Yeah, I'm gonna have to mix to add a, another couple of inches to the top of this, and then I'm gonna water it all in. Okay, now you all, afterwards, what I'll be doing is once these start to grow and come up, what I'll do then 
is I'll add more of my potting mix. So if you're gonna do uh, boxes this size and you're gonna do about three boxes like this, then I'm gonna say you're gonna need two of the bags of Kellogg's raised bed potting mix and two of the black cow cow manure, all right? And that really will be more than what you need if you're gonna use a large box like this. Now this right here, y'all, I really don't know the size of this box. I just know it's the largest box that Home Depot has and I think they're like two bucks or something. I don't know, two dollars and something. Babe, do you remember how much these boxes cost a piece? Uh, we got them in a pack. I don't know how much a piece. Uh oh. I thought I thought we had to get them individually. I think they were like, weren't they like two dollars and something? A piece, yeah, probably about two. Okay. So if you if you had to buy them, you could. But if you didn't want to. You could just go to any place with a box <laughs> and just get go to any store, Walmart, anywhere, and get yourself some free boxes. No boxes with that waxy red coating and all of that or any color coating. You don't want a box with wax all over it and dyes and all of that. You know, you know what I'm talking about. The boxes that got all that film out. You don't want those. You just want a plain cardboard box. That's it. All right, so you all, I am going to do another mix and I'm going to go ahead and add another few inches of soil to the top of this and get these watered in. Oh man, I forgot to add my azomite. How could I forget that? Oh no. Oh, that's okay. But anyway, you all, this is, this is azomite. These are trace minerals that you would love you would love to have these in your beds okay in your garden bed period i think i put this in our amazon shop this is the brand that i've always used but you could get any brand you want and i like that because it's not in a powdered form it's like a granule so really once i put this in and even in my garden beds, whatever I put in, it's going to kind of feed that bed the entire season. I don't have to keep adding to it for that entire season. So once I pull out the spring crop and put my summer crop in, it's good. When I take the summer crop out and put my fall crop in, it's still gonna be good. I only have to do that once a year with my azomite, and that's my choice. You want to do more, you can, okay? All right, y'all, so I'm going to go ahead and get some more mixed up. This um, hay mix right here, once this grows and it's time for me to add more soil to this, when it gets to a certain level, I'm just going to start piling on my hay here, okay? That's all I'm going to do. I'm going to pile on the hay. This hay is loaded with nitrogen. All right, from the animal and plus some other things from the animals, you know, going to the bathroom all over it, right? So it's it's really enriched. So once I put that over the top and con, uh, continue to water that with my potatoes as they grow, it's literally gonna be like, um, it's still gonna be like feeding them, right? Without me having to feed them. So that's what I'm gonna do with that, with that hay, okay? But y'all, that's going to do it. I hope this helps. Now, one other thing. In this container here, this is that 17-gallon tub that I was telling you about that they have in the laundry department at Walmart. You can buy this 17-gallon tub and if I'm not mistaken, they should be back down in price like six bucks, five or six bucks, right? And you're gonna wanna drill multiple holes in the bottom of this. And then you're gonna do your potatoes the same way. You're gonna put about six inches of soil in the bottom. In this, you could put about three um, large potatoes or maybe four medium to small potatoes in here and then cover it under about what four three or four inches of soil and then as it grows just keep adding the soil to it until you can't add any more but once you can't add any more i would suggest that you mulch the top okay 
but these also make great containers this is a five ga uh, a five to six dollar container and you can continuously use this over and over again as long as it lasts you okay but for me this right here is going to be an instant raised bed hopefully we will have built this up enough that when it's time to plant potatoes in it again we won't really need this frame just like we didn't need it for the yukon gold potatoes i literally just dug a trench and planted in it okay but y'all that is going to do it for this video i hope you found this con this uh freebie <laughs> container on how you can plant your potatoes in a cardboard box i hope you found it helpful if you live on a balcony and you have neighbors under you i'm going to suggest that you get a different container with a nice big pan that you can put underneath so that when you water the water is not flowing down over your neighbors okay but if you live on a little patio or you have a little patio or something either one of these will be great for that okay you all all it's gonna take is you getting a good raised bed potting mix and i'm i always just suggest the kellogg's because i know that stuff works good we've been using it and it works great for us and that black cow cow manure compost or if you've made your own you can use your own compost okay all right y'all but that's gonna do it potatoes in cardboard boxes my only concern my only concern <laughs> is them ants the ants, the ants, the ants, right? So in any case, hopefully the ants will stay away from my boxes. But y'all, that's going to do it for this video. I just wanted to take you all along with me while I got all of the red potatoes planted. And I only had enough red potatoes for three boxes, but that's okay. I'm going to put um, my remaining boxes here. And who knows what I might plant in them, y'all. I might put some lettuces or something in it. I could put anything in them, really. Yeah, I could put my lettuce in them. <laughs> Plant me some romaine on each side. <laughs> and at least I won't have to really worry about, I hope I won't have to worry about like rabbits and stuff jumping up here. But with these cats, babe, they can stay in there if you want. Okay, but you can leave them back there. And I'll take them off one by one. All right, y'all. I got to go help Mr. H. I got to go help Mr. H. Because he will not stop if I don't. And you see, it's about to get dark, so I got to stop. He finna do something there. <laughs> Let me go get my husband. <laughs> so he can go inside. This man here, he don't stop. But all right, y'all, that's going to do it for this video. If you found the video helpful, please give the video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss a single video that we upload to our channel. <laughs> Thank y'all again for watching Homestead Heart. Peace and blessings to each and every one of you. I'm going to see y'all in the next video. We finna go in the house, babe. Okay. I hope not. I'm going to close the back door.